Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start the mike wagner show is powered by sonic web studios hi this is mia mohsen zia also known as mia no time for love check out my latest book missing available in print and ebook format on amazon it's now time for the mike wagner show powered by sonic web studios visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs the mike wagner show can be heard on spreaker spotify iHeartRadio, youtube itunes anchor fm radio public and the mike wagner show.com mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe so sit back relax and enjoy another great episode of the mike wagner show Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking at a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and even loved and enjoyed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple Music, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for missing once and wrinkles. Also, uh, cool merchandise like T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, and also phone cases and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, the Mike Widener Show.com. You can buy me a coffee at Buy Me a Coffee. Dot com at the Mike Widener Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is an author, surgeon, inventor, and currently practicing as chief of urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor, Maine. We'll talk about his amazing career. Began life in a small Indian village, attended Patra Medical College in India, and continued on in the United Kingdom, complete research and training at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And he also is involved in a couple of ventures with uh, Christian Universe and KKNK TV, and he also created a brand new app, which you can all relax about. We'll talk about that, and um, it's designed to bring material change to people around the world, connecting to their um, inner flame and more, so we'll talk about that, so be at peace at this one. Live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in uh, beautiful downtown Bangor, Maine, somewhere in the United States among the trees, the very multi-talented author, surgeon, and inventor, and the Chief of Urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical Center in Bangor Lane. Ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented Dr. Krishna Bada. Dr. Krishna, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for that uh, wonderful introduction. Like it uh, sounded like somebody else. Um, but I do like coffee. You know. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> we got to have a cup sometime. Yes. That's right. <laughs> coffee is yeah. always You have good. another Bronco cup? 
Oh, uh, you know what? That's the only one I have. I would have like um, auctioned it off, but that's too precious. But you know something? I can probably find some copper and uh, send it over to you. And then when you do that, just have a cup of coffee in remembrance of me while you're doing the uh, relaxed meditation <laughs> app. So, <laughs> well, we'll yeah. talk about we'll talk about that part later. But uh, you you've been an author. You also have a couple of books we forgot to mention. Your surgeon, inventor, and your you are practicing as a chief of urology at Northern Light Eastern Maine Medical in Bangor, Maine. You began life in an Indian, a small Indian village. You attended Patra Medical College in India. You um, continue your education in the UK. You complete research and your training at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And uh, also you help with Christian Universe and KKNK TV. You're involved with that. And you also have that brand new app called Relax Meditation app. And uh, before getting all that, Dr. Krishna, tell us how I first got started. No, that was wonderful again. Thanks for reintroduction. But I enjoy life. I mean, that's that's my thing. And I want to help others enjoy life because uh, um, you can beat yourself every day if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but there are ways to just, you know, take the ones like I always say, it's like uh, I, I was going to give a talk, talk in a library on my book, Journey from Life to Life. Mm -hmm. And they put the topic death and donuts. Death and donuts. I love that. <laughs> along with some coffee. <laughs> I said, yeah, coffee goes along with that. So I said, uh, how do I put this together? And then I realized that um, I go to a donut shop. There are many donuts there. Wow. And I choose honey, you know, what is it called? Honey curler from um, the donut series that doesn't mean there is no other donuts mm -hmm. but i pick what i like mm -hmm. and i like coffee so i pick my coffee not tea mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that tea doesn't exist mm -hmm. that doesn't mean other donuts don't exist in our life we have happiness we have joy we have sorrow we have treachery jealousy everything within us and around us i can pick you know the ones i want we have friends and, you know, many people, we can choose who we, you know, do friendship with. Um, so that's, that's how I see life, you know, so it's our choice, ultimately. Sometimes we have to coexist, and this is a new word terminology that I use, that I don't have to accept people I don't like, I don't have to accept things I don't like, I don't have to accept results that happen to me that I don't like but I can coexist with them. They can mm -hmm. be a smaller, you know, size bag around me rather than I keep saying I have to accept it or I have to fight it. And that is kind of the whole universe exists like that. You know, I mean, the sun is hot, moon is cold. They maintain their distance, but they coexist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that coexistence part is a big part of uh, the app as well you know there are many practices in that and uh, coexistence is a, one of the key kind of elements there mm -hmm. and, and of course you know un unfortunately it doesn't come with uh, coffee and donuts but i'm sure you can work that in too in the app so <laughs> maybe just have like a 3d holistic or whatever it is but um but of course you know you also been like um an author as well too you had your books uh, journey from uh, life to life Achieving Higher Purpose and uh, Gita Today. And, um, you know, tell us uh, about those uh, couple of books. So Journey from Life to Life uh, is, uh, as it, it, it says, journey, you know, it maintains from getting born to the end of life. And if you live that life happily, you are more likely to have a journey beyond that in a happy, happier way. Um, for everything that we plan in our life, whether it is a trip or whether it is a presentation I have to do or whether I have to talk to you, mm -hmm. uh, we do some practice, we do some planning, we do, you know, set up a time and then, you know, we all, it all comes together. When it comes to death or dying, we leave it on faith or we leave it on or just leave it, bury our head in the sand. Um, this book does talk about this life and how you can plan about things that can happen beyond that or how you can plan 
if you believe or you know if there is a life beyond that again then can you plan for that that's the question it raises and tries to answer as best as possible from experience and from um reading and research that i did Mm -hmm. And of course, you also have another book called uh, Gita Today as well, too, about uh, an excellent companion to young person. And you have a really good message. And uh, tell us more about that. Gita is uh, one of my kind of core principles that I, you know, I treasure because my life, you know, Krishna was the main person who teaches Gita and it he stayed in mainstream. So that was his credit. That was his problem, you know, because many people didn't take, when you are in the mainstream, people see you doing the same thing that everyone else does. Mm -hmm. If I was a guru, I would be sitting somewhere in an ashram. I would probably have a little wee beard or some sort of, you know, uh, trademark for that. And then people will come and I will be, you know, at a little higher level than others. But when you are in mainstream, I may have the same experiences and credentials, but I may appear just normal. So Krishna always appeared normal until he didn't, until he, you know, had these teachings that came out of him. Um, so I follow what he did. He stayed in the mainstream and this teaching happened in a war. And uh, the verses and the teachings are just amazing. And uh, and they are not, you know, it's like they cross. Many people put him in the religion part that he belongs to, you know, Hindu religion. Mm -hmm. um, I see it more like a science book, you know, like physics, chemistry doesn't belong to religion. And that is my approach to that. When I, I know there was a simple problem. Uh, the Arjun was the warrior and he was going to fight. And he saw that he's going to kill so many people. So like many pacifists, he said, how can I kill these people? What is it worth if I kill and become a king? Is it worth it? And it so happens that they were mostly related and known to him mm. because they were, um, it's like, you know, like India and Pakistan, they were one before and they, many of the people at that time knew each other, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a war, then you feel like you're killing your, you know, uh, rel relatives. So, and then, so he was kind of paralyzed. He 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 became so you know um, kind of uh, infatuated by that whole uh, phenomena. How can I do this? And that's when Ar you know Krishna comes in and he starts giving his teachings. In the end, he uh, be, you know fights and you know and wins the war. He becomes the hero uh, of that thing. Uh, I'm not saying that Krishna was teaching a war. I mean, his logic is that if you don't fight and you let the bad guys stay in, then what is the future of the world? Mm -hmm. It also covers as well, too, like the formulas for success and freedom and everything. And there's a lot you talk about management as well, too. And maybe um, talk about some of the uh, different management and uh, how does it come to play? And uh, what can we learn from it when it comes to management? Yeah, management is a part, but the one that I love, you know, the best, you know, there are many good parts of Gita, but one I love is five pillars of success. And those five pillars of success, you know, are as applicable today as it was 5,000 years ago. And first of, all of them is, he says, platform, Adhisthana means Sanskrit. So platform is important. So you... Maybe, you know, it's like, mm, let's talk about uh, President Biden. I mean, he can do much more as a president than he could as an opposition leader or just being a vice president or, or being a senator. Mm -hmm. You see that. So, so that platform is important. So, and um, a good person or an able person should achieve, you know, strive for a platform, better pl platform from where you can do more things for people and yourself. Mm -hmm. The second is the capability of the person. So a bad person goes in that platform and then you can, you can imagine whether it is Hitler or Stalin or, you know, the ones we know in our his history and even now, 
what's happening um, around Ukraine and Russia. Mm -hmm. So you can see power can be, if you have power, how do you channelize that power? Is It becomes important. So the quality of the person is important as well. And the third is karana, means the tools. So you may be a, a very capable person, you may mm -hmm. get the best platform, but if you don't have the right tools, uh, then you may not be able to dominate. So it's important to develop technology that supports your, your strength. The fourth one is different strategies. But I love the fifth one that many people don't like to talk is that even if you have all the four, there is some forces outside of you that may come to help you and you should ask for help mm. from them. Mm. That fifth, fifth factor is a very important factor. Although uh, for some reason, one reason or the other, uh, many of us don't want to talk about it because it might imply religion. It's not necessarily religion. You know, there are factors, you know, like in the World War II, when people were going to airdrop uh, <clears throat> the troopers, if the weather went, you know, bad, it would have been a disaster. So that weather factor or, you know, luck factor or whatever you want to call it, so those are the five pillars of success, I call them, and that, that I learned from that. Hmm. It, it, all, it all sounds like it's almost like building a house when I think a platform. It almost sounds like, sounds like a foundation. That's what it sounds right. like. Yeah, no, I think you're right. Okay. That's very fascinating as well, too. And you also talk about uh, you're covering success, covering management and everything else. And this also yeah. applies to your career as well, too, and um, creating a bunch of new ventures. We'll get to those in just one minute. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing is fast paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first to go missing. It's available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve Eleven endorsed by Howard Solari's, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show and the themikewidenershow.com on over 30 podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia for missing once and wrinkles and more. Also merchandise like t-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more. Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. Also support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewidenershow.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com for the Mike Widener Show. Donuts not included. Make sure you do so today. We're here with uh, the amazing author, surgeon, and inventor, and um, the chief of urology um, at Northern Light uh, either. Eastern Medical Center in Maine, Dr. Krishna Bada here on the Mike Wagner Show. And um, we talked about the pillars of success. We talked about your writing career, your books, success and management playing in it. And also applies to um, your career in the um, medical field with the uh, chief of urology in um, Bangor, Maine. And uh, tell us uh, how, how you got started in your medical field. Medical field, uh, I mean, my mother wanted me to be a doctor, probably that kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. At that time, maybe I ignored it, but slowly and slowly, I drifted towards medicine. I was uh, obviously you know, bright enough to get into the medical school and get out of medical school. <laughs> um, but my medication, meditation and medicine career both went parallel, and I think it complemented each other. Many people see like it should be, you know, if you're a doctor, how can you meditate, you know? 
Uh, but that's not the situation for me. For me, it was always helpful uh, in my career um, in many ways. And that's how I became a doctor. So, and then of course, went to England and did my training and, and then moved to this country. And that's how it is. And uh, we've been very happy, me and my wife, she's a doctor as well. Oh, amazing. Are you guys in the same field or what, what does she practice? She is OBGYN. So oh, okay. different field, but uh, yeah. Amazing. Okay. And uh, you're also, um, you're in the urology field. Was that uh, a choice that you made or was it like uh, assigned to you or anything like that? Yeah. Most of uh, the doctors, when they go through medical school, they kind of, you know, figure out whether they want to be surgical field or medical field. So it was obvious that I'll be a surgical kind of intentions you know, and then uh, aptitude. And urology is a good field. Mm -hmm. I enjoy being a urologist. And uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it sounds like you've been in the practice for a while too, that um, you also uh, had also consult patients and everything else. And uh, you've been doing it for a while. And um, you also um, help them relax as well too. And this is where I know the part comes into play, you know, besides your books and uh, everything. And I forgot to ask you one question. What inspired you to, um, to uh, become the author of the two books? I forgot, forgot to ask you that, believe it or not. Well, there are, of course, I was doing the meditation and I was, you know, I had a lot of different kind of experience, but there were some incidences when um, this question came, what happens? You know, it's like a, and one of them, I, I have quoted that in the book, one of my patients in uh, in Maine, uh, he was 87 year old and uh, he had had, I had done a big surgery on him and he recovered from that, went home. A few months later, he came back for some problems with his lungs and uh, they were treating and he was getting better, but sometimes it, things didn't go well. and. One day he just called me, asked me to sit down, looked me in the eye and said, I want to go. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know what to say really, but you know, it's like I listened to him, I acknowledged it. And uh, after that, uh, I was asking myself, where is he going? Does he know or do I know? Mm-hmm. And uh, that's one of the things that kind of pushed me towards, let's write, you know, write this book. But that's not the only thing, as as you know, life, many things happen, but some things kind of trigger you. And so mm-hmm. that's the trigger I remember. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and, of, and of course, you also, um, you know, doing consulting with patients, you also um, developed, uh, y- you know, like all kinds of applications in the um, in the medical field as well, too. And most importantly, that uh, you also are involved with um, the Christian Universe Network and also KKNK TV. <laughs> it sounds like a, re- a really good TV station involvement with the uh, Christian Universe and uh, KK, KKNK TV. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like to write, li- I like to write some lyrics, in, at least in, you know, in my language, in Hindi and Sanskrit. Um, actually, I wrote one song uh, about Maine, you know, when in Maine, and I think it is on that YouTube as well. Uh, one of my friends Put the music and composed it, and that uh, that came out very good. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean, um, few things in life, you know, keep doing some things, and they keep adding up. You know, by the end of, you have few things that you have done. Mm-hmm. I always say that we have, you know, uh, three purpose. I say I used to say two, but now I say three. Three purpose in our life. One is general purpose where. You go to school, you go to college, you have a career, you make money and make sure that your body and mind is taken care of. The second is a higher purpose. We all want to do something for others and for, you know, leave leave some contribution behind. And the third one is a deeper purpose, you know, knowing yourself. Um, And uh, that knowing yourself is what I call meditation. Anytime you spend with yourself, it's not necessarily going and sitting, you know, cross-legged in the Himalayas. When I see people in Maine and probably in North Dakota, they will go away for a weekend retreat. You know, they don't call it meditation. They call, don't call it retreat. 
they will go in a camp and just do fishing or do a little hunting and walk i mean um just purpose is to be with themselves and and be silent few you know spend some moment together so that's what it is mm -hmm. and a lot of people do that as well too uh, up by where we are and what where are you fishing hunting boating be in touch with nature and everything else and of course some carry a radio some don't and of course you know some people carry their phones to um to relax as well too and of course um we also have the relax meditation app and uh you can just tell us about that wonderful invention and what inspired you to um create the new app um well twofold inspiration one is you know share something that i have experienced and learned uh, personally so it's not like i researched and created a, an app it's a lot of that started with deeper meditation for people who have advanced who want to do advanced meditation but then we added so many other things to that you know uh, for kids i mean we have for kids 4 year old and above and we have positive psychology we have emotional detox and we have now we have creating a series journey of a veteran journey of a prisoner journey of a correction officer journey of a cancer patient mm. and this will be a series of five or six uh, meditations that will go there um the whole thing is you know we talked earlier about platform you have a created a platform platform where i can come or you can talk about the book that you talk about so that is a platform you created for me i created a platform relax app which can be used i mean if i go and do a workshop how many people will come but through this the potential is to reach millions um and uh, fortunately i mean or unfortunately i mean more, more mostly fortunately there are some other programs which came earlier earlier than me calm headspace and many others who have you know shown that there are people in america and usa who are willing to try these things out i mean and uh, why not give them something deeper as well mhm mm and also notice too that uh, you got an amazing background as well too you got relax radio on that and you also um app features a lot of things like with um mindfulness intermittent silence meditation and of course um simply connecting um inner frame daily routine everything like that and um tell us about some of the other features um that we should more know about like the ones um you cover in general but maybe some that um you know other people can discover about like you know what are some of the other features that you offer so there are many features but uh, as you said intermittent silence is one of them so um just think of it when you eat food um sometimes we become like overindulge and overeating becomes kind of we have to hold back right some good mm -hmm. food you do that and for that people came out with intermittent fasting mm yes right mm -hmm. and that helps and uh, at least many people practice that and it seems to help there are other methods of losing weight or staying fit which people do as well the same way we are also used to overthinking especially in the digital world with video games and then we want to use our brain to the exhaustion point so intermittent silence says take a 10 minute break give your brain rest for 10 minutes and there is a structured program you know how you do that uh, it's not so much about breathing or it's it's basically it says close your mouth so when you close your mouth all the centers in the brain that work with expression and speech they get rested close your eyes when you do that then all the centers attached with visual pathway and observation and all those processing they get rested the third one is silent listening so listening to any sound that is around there whatever sound it may be and not judging it not making any judgment or just let it pass through and be there just acknowledge that's there and the third one is just watching your thoughts go by and coexist with everything that is there your emotions your thoughts they will all be there because some people say make your you know 
brain, mind empty of thoughts, that's not a possibility. It doesn't happen. It's, you end up struggling and just complaining that I cannot do it. But it's not only you cannot do it, nobody can do it. Because mind is, uh, I always say there are two parts of mind, minding and mindfulness. So minding is the one that has made, made you successful, but also by its own nature of minding, you know, it keeps working all the time. The only thing you can do is more, focus more on mindfulness or something else. And the other one can be background in a, and in a smaller space, but it won't go away. Okay. And sometimes okay. emotional emotions can be emotional storms. You know? It's like that happens in our life. One day or the other, you are fired from a job or somebody you love, you know, doesn't exist anymore. Those storms will happen and they will have their time period. You can shorten the time period, but they will happen. So you can coexist with, you know, anything that happens. Um, and this attitude reflects in many of the practices on the app. Hmm. Okay. And, and what are some other features are you looking to uh, add on to the Relax Meditation app? Yeah, we will keep adding new features because uh, I believe in collective wisdom. So it's not that I know it all. So we work with a team of uh, content creators and whether it is music, uh, sleep, you know, you can't sleep. There is something for sleep. You have anxiety. There is something for anxiety. You have stress. There is something for that. But my main focus is also on how to create the best you. Hmm. I seem to like that. And I think that goes really well. I seem to like that. And where can we find the Relax Meditation app, your um, books and everything else? Where can we find all that at? So relax.org. That's the website. That's the background that we have. Um, so if you go there, there is links for uh, download. But on App Store or Google Play Store, you can go and type relax with 2x. And just download, download is free, explore it. And then there is subscription to that. And, uh, um, but it's, uh, you know, we are competitive and uh, we want to grow. So we need to, otherwise I would love to make it free for everybody, but uh, it, mm -hmm. I have to, I'm told I should run like a business, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, free coffee and donuts, I'll get people on the app. So <laughs> <laughs> and, and of course, you know, you got some great products out there. What's coming up for uh, Dr. Krishna Bada and more? You listen to the Mike Widener Show at the themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Molson's The of Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with author, surgeon, innovator, and the creator of the Relax Meditation app, Dr. Krishna Bada. For this time off. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1 800 303 3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamoshenzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to The Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with uh, the amazing Dr. Krishna Bada here on The Mike Wagner Show. Talked about the Relax Meditation app and a lot more and learned a lot from you, doctor. And what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond? I have a book coming out, Intermittent Silence and uh, Meditation. 
And uh, that will be kind of a companion book for the Relax app, uh, okay. because Relax app is is many varieties, and sometimes you wonder which where should I start, where should I go. So, a companion book uh, I think will be helpful. So that will be coming out soon. And um, sometimes I don't know what is coming next, but you know, creativity happens, right? Mm -hmm. That's totally agree as well, too. And we're certainly looking forward to it, Dr. Krishna. And who do you consider biggest influence in your career? Biggest influence in my career, med yes. medical career? Uh, it, um, it, it can be anything. No, I enjoy uh, what I do. I enjoy teaching. I enjoy being up to date, like robotic surgery. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the thing I'm working on uh, is uh, how do we help the cancer patients? I mean, that oh, is- Oh, yes, that's important. Yeah, that's very important because yes, I can do the surgery and, you know, then- forget about it but uh, journey of a cancer patient is much more than having just a surgery is just one segment of their thing the diagnosis to you know um, you know where do they go and I, I'm passionate about it so mm. this, you know. and that's very interesting as well and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point uh, at the moment, I think coexisting, whether it is family relationship, personal relationship, think about coexisting rather than having to accept things that you don't like. And I think that is, uh, I, it's my mantra as well. And so life becomes a little easier. I'm not saying don't do anything about the situations. I'm saying coexist and then work on making it better. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good point as well, too. Once again, we're with the uh, author of uh, the books, uh, Journey from Life to Life, Achieving Higher Purpose, and Gita Today, also the uh, inventor of the Relax Meditation app and uh, Chief Urology in, in Bangor, Maine, Dr. Krishna Bada here on the Mike Wagner Show. Dr. Krishna, very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. We'd love to have you back on in 2022 and beyond. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase your books or check out the app or in, and everything else? No, thank you. Thank you, Mike, uh, for having me. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, relax.org. And then, of course, Amazon. Uh, the book is there. And uh, if not, you can ask your bookstore. They will get it for you. Um, and uh, thanks very much for letting me come to your show and talking about all the things I'm trying to do. <laughs> and learned a lot from you. And we wish you all the best. A very big thank you for your time. You've been totally amazing. Looking forward to having you in soon. We'd love to have you back. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. And we wish you all the best. You've got a great future ahead of you. Okay, great. Thank you. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Me and Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing, available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.